All right, so the media not giving President Obama a free pass as he tries to make the case for attacking Syria. Take a look at this. This is a, a disturbing video of the victims of that alleged regime chemical attack was shown by the administration to senators earlier this week in closed door briefings as it uh, argued for punishing the regime. And then I want to show you this newspaper here. Take a look at this. This is an article uh, and a picture on the front page of Thursday's New York Times. It's uh, basically raising the questions about the opposition. Who can we trust there? The regime shows uh, freedom fighters or, or they are actually regime fighters and uh, they were executed. So, gentlemen, when we look at the media and we look at the fact that this is uh, being reported and no one's giving the president or Congress a pass on this one, what do you say about uh, the way this is being This handled? is the first time, Kelly, that the administration, and particularly President Obama himself, have come under real harsh scrutiny by the media. You know, during the campaign, the first and the second, Obama's internal joke was his political base was the media. That's no more. Times have changed. Okay. Yeah. Well, I think what we're seeing here, and this is the reason the public doesn't trust any of the administrations to say. We saw in Egypt of the Muslim Brotherhood, and they told us that would be great. We've been told the rebel groups in Libya, the whole Libya is in, in chaos. And now we have our opposition, who, who the leaders keep telling us in both parties, oh, no, they're really great, a set killing in front of us, just like it's a tent revisited, assassinating those, killing those, massacring and, and, those soldiers. And by the way, so the president is back from Russia, and he's now going to go on all the shows. Monday night and do the speech Tuesday night to a country that has already seen that. Well, I saw it. They had videos of these rebels killing people the other night. No one's in favor of any of this thing. And the president, it's too late to turn this a thing around. A year ago, look, he should have done it if he was going to do something. Well, uh, there are people who argue that even if he did something a year ago, it might have been uh, too little, too but late. If but if he had a policy, maybe not. Yeah. And okay. there is no policy, Kelly. Well, let's, let's talk about something else that yeah. you were uh, pretty miffed about, and that was Senator Dianne Feinstein and her response and, and what it shows about the tenor Political or class. tone and tenor of uh, American politics. Let's listen to Senator Dianne Feinstein responding to a question. There's no question. What's coming in is overwhelmingly negative. There's no question about that. But you see, then they don't know what I know. They haven't heard what I heard. Um, and I like to believe now, after 20 years, that I'm, I, I have somewhat, some skill in separating the wheat from the chaff in this thing. So, gentlemen, how do you respond to what she is saying? We are. Kelly, well, she the sees one, classified information. The one thing that we know about politics is that when politicians say I know better than you or I have more information that that really really angers the American people and in this case there's been not a scintilla of evidence presented to suggest that we have a strategy a plan or a way to deter the Assad regime that's why this is it's, so damning. And it's the same voices on the NSA saying, we get to see the stuff, trust us, it's all right. And the country is saying no. That was the precursor for what we have now. The country's attitude is, we are not being told the truth, and we don't we're, buy this. We've got to wrap, John, real quickly, the final well, word. We're not going to be able to see it, but John McCain, the leading advocate of strong military action consistently in Syria, he got an earful at a town meeting the other night People who normally support McCain are unloading on him, and they're unloading on all these politicians for the same reason. A they clear sign of a very war-weary nation. Gentlemen, we thank sure. you for Political Insiders. Uh, you can get more from the Political Insiders every Monday at 10.30 a.m. Eastern, uh, live on at live.foxnews.com. Uh, and they will be back here next Sunday. Make sure you check them out. And you can also follow them on Twitter <laughs> at News Insiders. Thank you so much, gentlemen. Thank we'll you. Right Thank you.